What's going on, machine heads? This is DJ Lush, the real machinist at gmail.com, coming at you with another tutorial. This one is a little bit of help on some mixing here. Uh, I'm going to offer a little bit of advice on how to mix. Uh, keep in mind, my idea of mixing may be different than somebody else's. Uh, it's all kind of dependent on personal preference, but um, this mixing tutorial is going to basically focus on panning. I'm going to have a couple more mixing tutorials coming up here. Uh, the first one, which I think is kind of the first step in uh, mixing after you get your beat down and uh, you get kind of your levels, um, you know, where you want them here and kind of evened out there. Uh, the first thing I do is go ahead and uh, do some panning here so you get some spatial separation. And uh, I kind of like to think of mixing as kind of a 360 degree view. Uh, it's kind of like a ball, like a sphere. Um, you can have stuff up or down in the mix, which is the levels. Uh, you can have left or right, which is panning here, which is I, I'm going to talk about. Or uh, you can also use uh, some EQing uh, to kind of bring it back and forth in the mix, kind of up front, front or back or whatever, however you want to look at it. So um, basically how I like to mix, I like to uh, think about, you know, going and watching a live show. If you go and watch a live show, you kind of look and see how the band's laid out. Usually they have a guitarist on the left, and if there's two guitarists, left and the right. Uh, you have the drums, which are in the kind of in the middle. And I like to mix the drums basically like you're looking at it from a drummer's perspective. So you're going to have the kick straight up in the mix. Not going to be pan at all. It's going to be straight up, no left or right panning on that. Uh, and then I kind of look at it like uh, as a drum kit. Uh, so if you're looking at stage left, you're going to have the hi hat pan slightly to the right in the mix. You're going to have the snare drum pan just a little bit less than the right. Or, well, snare drum is probably going to be a little bit to the left of the. Uh, hi-hat so we're gonna have hi-hat pan kind of to the right snare is gonna be slightly pan to the right not much and then we're gonna to go tom like tom one is gonna to be a little bit to the right basically just a little bit left of the snare tom two is gonna to be slightly pan left the floor tom is gonna to be panned left just a little bit harder than that and then the rest of it's kind of up to you as far as the cymbals go. You can kind of spread them around in the mix. Uh, usually the ride's going to be panned left. And uh, any kind of crashes or china cymbals or anything like that uh, is going to kind of be on personal preference where the drum drummer's set up. Uh, so if basically I look at it like that. Um, we're going to have the hi-hat pan, or the, excuse me, the ride panned to the left. The floor tom panned left. Tom 2, pan to the left. Tom 1, pan slightly to the right. Followed by the snare drum, pan slightly more than that to the right. Hi-hat, pan slightly harder to the right. Kick's going to be straight up in the mix. And then the cymbals you can kind of scatter about. Any other kind of spatial noises, uh, you can just kind of have to personal preference. Um, and then I look at uh, any kind of main bass or guitars or synthesizers or anything like that that you have in a mix. I usually double those and pan one to the left and one to the right. Kind of bring it out in the mix a little bit. It's a little process called doubling. A lot of audio engineers use this. You're going to pan, uh, you're going to use the same sound one sound one like say you got the i got the synth here um i i got a little bit of ear candy going on on these synths here um to where this one here as you can see the pan is uh just you know negative 12 to the left the next one is uh negative five to the left next synth here it's gonna be five to the right and then the other one should be 12 to the right see and so that way, uh, when you play it, it's going to kind of give you a little bit of ear candy. It's going to kind of sweep the spectrum from left to right. because, And that's just because of the way uh, this beat is set up, where it kind of goes, you know, left, left, right, right here. Uh, the synth is kind of the main part of this beat here that I have. It's kind of the main driver of uh, this beat, so that's why I kind of have it set up like that. Normally, if I would just have not really this kind of steps 
step layering going on. I would have this synth, uh, all these panned to the left, probably about in here, about the negative 12. And then I would double it with another synth here, probably right here by where this bass is. And I would pan that to the right 12, kind of like this one. So, uh, and then I would, I would offset them by about 0.03 seconds and it gives it a, a kind of a thick feel. I'll, I'll give another tutorial on, on doubling, uh, later. This one's kind of basically on panning and mixing the drums and stuff like that. So anyways, let's get to the drums here. I got this 808 kick set up here and, uh, with this panning, as you can see, I have the kick and that's panned straight up center the snare. I have panned just about 10 to the right here. Uh, the hi-hats I have panned just a little bit harder now, about 18 to the right. The open hi-hat is about the same there. Um, I have another kick here. This this kick, it, just because it's an 808 feel, I kind of panned it just slightly to the right here. Just kind of give it its own little spatial uh, setting. This, this, this kick is not going to be going on as, as much as this 808 one here. So, and then I have the crash here. Um, I haven't really panned any of these because I don't really have any of these symbols here. Any of these other sh scratches or anything like that. I have a rim shot. This is basically just slightly panned just a little bit to the right there. Um, usually when a, a drummer's hitting a rim shot, it's he's kind of clicking a little bit more uh, on the side of it or whatnot. And then I have a clavinet here. I'm going to pan this clav just a little bit to the left, give it some little spatial setting there. And uh, other than that, in this beat, I don't really have a whole lot of other stuff going on. So um, basically, I just I look at the kick, the snare, uh, the hi-hat, if there's a ride, any kind of toms. Um, it's kind of your core drums, really. Like I said, anything else is kind of up to you, how you want to do it there. Um, how you want to paint it so I just kind of wanted to give a short tutorial here on uh, my perspective of of painting drums and how to mix this is a good tip here um, you can also do it from the other way you know you can do it from the drummer's perspective and have everything panned opposite here but like I said I I've watched a lot of concerts I've probably been to over you know 500 concerts in my day you know doing some mixes uh, for some of them and uh, being in the audience so I think the best uh, perspective there is is basically looking from an audience perspective how you would hear it there and uh, basically if you're going to have any vocals uh, they're basically going to be pan center as well and then any kind of lead or uh, excuse me background vocals or any kind of uh, ad libs or anything you can kind of pan them accordingly uh, give them their own little spatial settings to the left or the right so this is just kind of a quick panning tutorial on how to pan drums I uh, just wanted to get some stuff clear here uh, kind of start off uh, my mixing tutorials here and give you a little bit of uh, introduction on how to pan some drums and how to pan some other instruments here. So I'm going to go ahead and play this beat and just kind of let you hear it here uh, so you can kind of hear some uh, some of the settings here. As you can see, I also have the bass here. I have this bass pan to the left here uh, just because just I don't even really know why I did that. Usually the bass player is usually on the left, I guess, or they could be on the left or the right. It doesn't really matter. Uh, it's the bass in this is just kind of background little little noise here, and I also have some guitar here, which I'm gonna I'm gonna pan opposite the bass there. So as you can see, I have the bass pan about negative ten to the left here, and I have the guitar. Uh, I want to have this this guitar probably just centered just a little bit more. So and actually, I'm I'm gonna go ahead and back this bass off just a little bit um, right there, probably about negative seven. That'll be good. So, anyways, this is DJ Lut or us. This is DJ Lush with a uh, another machine tutorial. This one's on uh, panning your mixes and uh, kind of a start off to uh, how you would mix drums and some other instruments stuff. So, like I said, um, this is a real machinist. And if you like this video, go ahead and uh, click the link below. Subscribe to my channel. Check out some of my other videos. I'm gonna have some other videos coming at you very soon. Uh, with some other mixing tips and tricks on the machines. So, thanks for watching. I'm going to end it out with the beat.